What's up everybody, it's your boy Wes Grant, you're watching Sub Urban Nerd. This is the channel where I give my nerd views on today's nerd news. There's going to be something a little bit different because there's not a lot of nerd news, so um, I'm going to do a rundown between like, you know, some nerd news, a little bit of gaming news, slash like technology news, so that's it. But before I get to that, I just need to um, talk about something that I forgot or left out a little bit yesterday. I went through all those trailers that kind of slipped my mind, but there's a video that's called Becoming Laura Croft. Uh, that came out around the same time the new the trailer came out and it's showing Alicia Vikander like just getting Jack like working out and like some dudes it was like yo I've been working out I work out five days a week and Alicia makes me she makes me embarrassed to take off my shirt and if you see her like if you look in the, the image I've posted before um, it's you can see the triceps in her like you can see the triceps and muscle whatever so definitely like yo you see her doing pull-ups you should watch it because it just makes it even sexier to me but um I'm going to put a link down below in the description for you to check that out. But um, that's pretty much all I want to talk about as far as the videos because yeah, I went through so many trailers. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to put a notation at the, end of it, end of, end of, at the end of the video for you to check out yesterday's because there was a lot of uh, trailers for like all these comic book shows and, and movies, so, and game movies. So um, just check that out. But first topic on a nerd rundown is, oh, 20th Century Fox uh, had... Stacy Snyder um, of Century Fox, 20th Century Fox, uh, she called and she talked about the new Mutants movie that's coming out. And um, she basically talked about what the vibe is of the movie that's coming out. And she kind of described it as, um, it's, it's in a realm of a haunted house with hormonal teenagers. It's got a John Hughes-esque uh, vibe with the Breakfast Club mixed with The Shining in a detention, cuckoo's nest, institutional uh, setting where basically it's it's it protects them from the outside but also it's uh what's it called combust combust combustible inside uh and she's saying that we haven't seen a superhero movie like this hell no you haven't because it doesn't make any sense whatsoever like this shit don't make sense what she's sort of describing it's, it, it sounds weird um i do have faith in fox because like i said you got deadpool if you got logan but you also had, you know, Apocalypse wasn't the best thing in the world. But you did have First Class, and you did have Days of Future Past. So you've, you've got, like, one or two out of the out of the five. So, I mean, so this is good. So hopefully it comes out good. They're talking about it. And I don't know too much about the New Mutants as far as comic book. They're not, like, the one of the major leagues of, of people. But if you're really into comics, I mean, you might want to check them out. Here it's pretty good. But as far as that... These just teenagers. I'm hoping that it's how can I say like the vibe. What kind of vibe I'm hoping to get? It's I want there to be. I don't want it to be these teenagers learn to use their powers and bam, they're saving the world. I don't want that. That is not what I want whatsoever. I want it to be more of a story, which is I think what she's saying it is. It's going to be more of a involved story. It's going to be what like teenagers learning that they have powers and kind of dealing with it, and then because of you know prosecution by humans you know that it's going to be sort of like a coming into age kind of like they're different and I'm definitely look. I'm looking forward to that kind of story I don't want them to just learn their powers all of a sudden they're saving the world I mean it works but except sometimes you just want it to be a little bit more low key sort of like what Deadpool did sort of like what Logan did they weren't trying to save the world they just had their stories and they were just they had to just take care of them so as far as that not too much. Next, it's not so much uh, the next topic on a nerd rundown. It's, it's not really like a comic book, but it's the little Gal, Gal Gadot, uh, you know, Wonder Woman herself, and she's going to be starring in a movie with Bradley Cooper called Deeper. And the premise of the movie is an astronaut that uh, a former astronaut basically gets to gets to go and dive deep into the ocean to to go to the deepest part of the ocean ever. And um, Bradley Cooper, you know, I guess for being a former astronaut after going to space, what else can you do but, I guess, go down. And I, uh, Gal Gadot's in early talks to be part of this movie. And while they're going down, well, they don't even say them, but I'm hoping, you know, she's involved probably going down with him as, as far as maybe a, a, a scientist with him. But um, there's an image of her in there. And while they're going down, the, um, it's uh, paranormal things start to happen the deeper they go as they get closer to their destination, which is probably the bottom of the ocean. Um, 
and I'm that kind of interests me because I'm thinking like the abyss or something like that. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing something like that paranormal, like if ghosts, ghosts down below or like like there's there's the abyss, there's sphere, um, there's all these different movies. I'm hoping that it'll kind of give a vibe, like a kind of a deep sea horror, which we definitely don't get enough of those. There's one deep sea horror that if you don't know, if you ever never heard of it, it's called Below. Check it out. It's I used to work in a movie theater when it came out. It was under the radar. Like, and it was really, really good. So check out below if you can't find it. But I'm hoping this movie, Deeper, is sort of like that as far as the vibe and like you know the claustrophobicness because you're just like in space, there's nobody to hear you scream. Same thing in the ocean. Like it's in the pressure. I think that's what also the other thing. Like the pressure in the ocean, it could kind of get to your heads. So I don't know if maybe it's going to be hallucinations that they that they're seeing with this paranormal or maybe it's real paranormal stuff that's happening. So. Hopefully, I'm definitely looking forward to that, and hopefully, Gal Gadot, you know, kicks ass in that movie too, just like in Wonder Woman. Uh, but um, that's pretty much it as far as the uh, nerd comic news. It's not much, but the next, the one thing I want to talk about is that the, the controller. Remember the remember the first Xbox controller, like this big block thing. Well, they're coming out with it again for the holiday season. It's called the Duke, and it's going to be coming out for uh, the Xbox One and Microsoft 10 like uh, gaming console or for the computers gaming computers and it's the, the things that are going to be different about it is going to be a 9 foot breakaway cord that I guess going to be like wireless if you want and and also it's going to have a, a fancy little screen right on the middle like the, the big circle that they had on the original Xbox that's actually going to be a screen um, so I don't know. I'm not gonna get it, whatever. But if you guys want the nostalgicness of the controller that's so big, you had to like dislocate your arm, your thumb to get over the. Okay, I can get to the bottom button. So if you're still interested in that, hey, by all means, get this controller. And also, the um, last thing on the nerd rundown is there was a trailer for Resident Evil 7, the, um, the DLC that's including Chris Redfield. So I mean, the Resident Evil 7 that was a scary ass game, like. Especially if you have the VR, but in general, because like that game just it, it 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 took a franchise that wasn't really scary no more. It's just like action over the top. It's basically Fast and Furious with zombies. But um, they took it and they brought it back down to what made it popular: the scariness, the the zombies, like, and it really worked. And I, I it's a good it's a good game, Resident Evil Seven. So introducing Chris Redfield into it, hey, I I think it'll probably work. But that's probably that's pretty much it for um, the last thing. Um, that was it for today. Remember to subscribe. Um, yesterday's videos that's what I'm talking about with all the trailers, or whatever, is going to be over here on the side. Remember to like. And uh, that's it. I'm Wes Grant. You've watching. You've been watching Sub Urban Nerd, and you've just been nerdified. Catch you guys on tomorrow's video. Peace out.